What's happening, Tech Timers? This is Andre of Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews, where I review cool tech and everyday products that will make your lives just a little bit easier. And today, I'm coming to you live with no jive as I review the Ruboka Petaloid Solar Powered Fountain for your bird bath or your pond. Can you dig it? Okay, Tech Timers, so before I get down to the nitty gritty, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell all below, and please share if you care. Now, this is the Ruboka Petaloid Solar Powered Fountain. Let's take a look at the box. Reconstruct beauty, choose for love, okay. And we'll go over everything, of course. So we have there, there's some information. There's the underside of the box. Let's get it open. Activate your warranty and get a free gift. Just scan, we'll put that off to the side. We've got some attachments here. Of course, we're gonna cover all of this. This is the instruction manual. You all should be able to see that. Let's put that off to the side. This is the solar powered fountain. Let's get rid of the box and this as well. Okay. That's everything that comes in the box. So before we get down and dirty into what all of this is, let's take a look at the specs. Okay, Tech Timers, so here are the specs for the Ruboka Solar Powered Water Fountain. The power output is three watts. The power source is, of course, sunlight. It weighs 9.2 ounces. The dimensions are 6.3 inches wide by approximately one half inch high. Attachments, you have five colored nozzles. Those are the rose petals or the petals. Um, four black nozzles and two connection heads. It has a filtration box with the removable filter. The water height ranges from approximately one half inch to approximately four inches. The solar power, uh, the solar panel material is a PET lamination and it's made out of plastic. Now that we've got the specs out of the way, Let's see what we can see. You dig? Okay, Tech Timers, it is now time to get down to the get down. This is the solar panel. Let's take the plastic off. You see that? This looks like a high density foam. That's the solar power source. That's the filtration system and the pump. And I'll get back to that in a moment. These are the attachments. Connection head. These are the pedals that come with it. And it looks like it's just gonna connect like that. And let's see what we have here. And these are the other nozzles. It's your connection head. I don't know how that's gonna go, we'll figure that out later, but it looks like it's just gonna go like that. And then of course, you know, connect there. Okay, so let's move these out of the way for a moment. Your filtration system, if you need to clean the filter, there's a little tab right there. Just pulling that tab and then push right there comes out, there's the unit, there, there's a groove here, and a groove right there, and you just kind of remove it. There's a filter in here, you all should be able to make that out. If you need to remove the uh, anything else, there's a little tab right here. Just go ahead and pull that. And actually, you can remove the fan as well. It just pulls right out. So that's for maintenance purposes. So I'm gonna put this back together. We're gonna to get it outside and we're gonna take it for a test drive. Groovy. Okay, Tech Timer, so I'm sitting in the old backyard. I don't know that I'm crazy about where we have this bird bath. It's in between a palm tree and a big bush, but let's see how it goes. So. 
See, as sun hits it, it starts up. So let's turn it over, that turns it off. We're gonna start off with uh, the black connectors, the black accessories. So, let's get that out. Let's put on, I'll put on the smallest one, like that. Let's put that in. And as you can see, it's doing its thing. So that's black one. That's black two. That's not bad. Look at that. Look how high that goes. Okay, so that is black three. And this is black number four. Okay, that is the colored petal that's yellow, and that's number one. So you can see the height on that one as well. Colored petal number two, that's like a green. It's greenish. This is colored petal number three, and this is also greenish. Kind of like a light green. Here are the petals, by the way. So these are the petals that we reviewed already. Those over there. Okay, that's uh, color petal number four, and that is a pink. And there's a good view of it and the height. Okay, this is color petal number five, and that's no jive. And this one is also pink in color. Color pedal number five. Okay, take timers. It's such a nice day out. I think I'm gonna uh, wrap up out here. Last week it got up to 119 one day, and for two days in a row we had 117. Today's only gonna be 108, so it's nice and cool today. Anyway, um, I really do like the uh, Reboka uh, Pedaloid Solar Powered Fountain, and as you can see, as soon as it gets some sunlight, it starts working within you know two to three seconds. When the sun is uh, not available, or when the sun goes down, it stops. You don't have to worry about charging it up. I like the fact that you have so many attachments, so that's pretty cool. So you all know what time it is. It's time for Andre's Tech Time and Product Reviews Rating System. You know what, I'm just gonna skip to the chase. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a two thumbs up so i'm gonna say groovy man low maintenance works well i think the birds will love it so i would say you know this would be a great addition to your backyard your front yard however you want to do it so please keep in mind as an amazon associate i earn from qualifying purchases please support the channel by purchasing items in this video with the links below and remember commissions do not come out of your pocket and you don't pay any more for, for the product. Thank you for hanging out here with me on Andre's Tech Time and product reviews. Keep on trucking. Enough said. I will catch you on the flip side in my next video. Now can you dig that?